after the carbon roller. My all time favorites. You know, what's funny about it is that it, well, every time I bump into someone, it just backs me up. Or when I run over someone, it just doesn't splat them instantly. I just bump into them as a warning. In the meantime, I'll practice on ambush. Pretty good. Pretty good so far. <gasps> Was that someone I splatted? Oh no. Uh oh. How dare you? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Explain yourself. Why are you here? Um... Why are you here? Solo practice. So, same here, but... I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to splat you. Well, you know what? 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 <sighs> it's okay. Ugh. Uh. Give me a heart attack when you confronted me! Hmm. Well, I am the most intimidating of all the Inklings. Is that so? Yeah. I forgot I had to set to public. Hmm. <laughs> Simple mistake. <sighs> I have an anxiety right now of what just happened earlier. Oh, yeah? <sighs> well, you seem pretty dangerous. What's your name? Name's Ryder. Why do they call you Ryder? That's because of my biker jacket. Ooh, bi a biker? I see what you did there. Yeah. Okay, the name is Pixel Lopez. An honor to meet you, Lopez. An honor to meet you too, Ryder. So, if you're not aware, I have a carbon roller, which is a lot better than other rollers. Like, if you swing it, it'll splash your opponents instantly. You know what I mean? Oh, that's what I have. Whoa! That's a big one! That's because this is the rarest one. Saved up all my coins. I think that's a dynamo roller. I know. It's a special one. Yeah, but kind of slow. But it does pack some heat. It definitely does. Especially when I pack some heat against that goggles kid. You mean that kid that pants to you? No! Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I'm glad you're gonna be laughing at this one because when I first arrived at Inkopolis, he pantsed me when I was texting. <laughs> right in front of the Squid Sisters. Oh no. Well, I'm glad you're laughing. Somebody had to explain it to me. <laughs> uh. You know, this is my first time laughing. <laughs> really? Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a good one. You wanna know something what I said to Goggles when I cornered him when since he still has my pants? I said what I don't that? I don't wanna be all tiger like on you. Oh. Serious business. You know I should have said tiger shark. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Still working on this transforming into a squid, but I just Duck down, but I haven't done that yet. For for you, it's really really simple. I see, you know when you have a certain when you have a certain weapon to use, there's a there's this ultimate weapon that you can use to turn into a kraken. 
A kraken? You mean, what's a kraken? The evolved form of our squid forms. Oh. Okay. It's like in Pirates of the Caribbean 2 where Davy Jones said, release the kraken. And whenever we have that ultimate move, we release it. Ooh. Man, never... Well, never done that ever. <sighs> I happen to be known as a scavenger. Is that so? Yeah. My badge says it all right here. Take a look. Oh, wow. Made of gold, just like your roller. <laughs> nice. Thanks. You know something I have? Um, acrophobia, like the fear of heights. I don't know if you have that too. Uh, well, not really. I fear nothing. Oh! 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 Are you alright down there? I should have looked directly down. I'm, I'm okay. Are you alright? I'm okay. Uh, alright, good. Look, fill my heart. Fill my heart right now. Whoa. Fastly beating. Yeah, I should have looked down. Hmm. <sighs> okay, I'm calm. It's best that we take the elevator back to Inkopolis and... Yeah. Might as well show you around where I live. That's a good idea. Alright. Alright, our elevator should be here shortly. Later. Huh, this is interesting. Yeah. This is where me and my other friends hang out. I see. That right. So, what rank are you anyway? I forgot to ask you since Goggles told me he was a C minus. Oh yeah. What's your rank? S plus, the rarest there is. S plus. I. I, I... That's right. Big deal. I'm in. When I'm an A rank, it's all downhill. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hang on. It's like a pie chart. This is basically me right here. When I'm in, when I'm in A+, it, this, it just goes like this. That's all. I'm just trying to hold the lead. That's all. Huh. I see. Yeah. It's downhill when you're A+. Plus. A few minutes later. On it clearly because it is seldom near land, nor appears where it may be seen by fishermen. It would eventually be known as the Kraken, a Norwegian word meaning something twisted, unable to reproduce because there were so few in number. Mariners would speak of a creature so large, it could be mistaken for an island. Some described it as crab-like, while others said it resembled a whale. Now, in the 18th century, it appeared in several volumes systemizing the natural world. It would be given the scientific classification Microcosmus marinus. In 1853, Norwegian naturalist Gepidus Trinsberg oh. recovered the beak of a giant cephalopod mm. stranded on a Danish beach. He was able to scientifically identify and describe the giant squid, now known to grow up to 60 feet in length, and the cause of the huge scars on sperm whales from their duels. It's just the kraken those ancient mariners saw. Now, does it still exist? Perhaps like the beluga whale, they are not keen on the presence of human men prefer a deeper habitat. With 95% of the ocean still unknown, we obviously can't say for sure. I'm Paul on behalf of Graveyard Shift, and this has been a story of how the legend of the kraken came to be. The kraken. <sighs> and that's out. that's the kraken that I know. Oh, that's a fact. Imagine seeing the Kraken in person. The Kraken I- the real Kraken that I know. Uh, that'd be kind of scary. I know. Hmm. So. So tell me, how did this business with you and Goggles went down? Well, me and my team were just walking by and then Goggles appeared behind me out of nowhere and just pulled my pants down. He missed the underwear, did he? He did. There's something that kind of hits hard when every time that we're in school all the time. Oh. Uh -huh. And I'm not going to lie. This was kind of funny when I showed it to my other friends. And this relates to what's happening now. All right, let's see.
Ah, Zoom call. See what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I do. And that's what we're stuck in right now. Huh. I don't know if you heard, but there's a f there. Long time ago, I made I made friends with a guy named Pico. Pico? He's not from around of where you're from. Oh. Well, this is actually a true story that I'm about to tell you right here. Long time ago, there was a school shooting going on. School shooting? Yeah, well, it's kind of horrifying, but Pico stepped in and had to put a stop to that. Huh. I think it's time I show you how extraordinary he is. All right, let's have a look. See, and you might wanna, might wanna. I don't know if you could handle it, but you might find this a lot graphic. <sighs> well, this was a long time ago, <clears throat> before we met. Same people. There's so many of them. They're clones. I don't know if you're ready for this. Uh. Since I'm fearless, I'm ready for anything. Cause this is when he gets brutal. Whoa. Ah, so he's a break dancer. Yes. Like a zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Jeez. Gonna have to face it hands on. That was a dirty trick. And this was the most graphic thing ever. He did his signature spear. The Goldberg Spear. With those two, with those two Uzis that he had. What a brave kid. Yeah, he did that all. He stopped a school shooting. No police. No police. That's right. It's kind of like, if you want something done right, you do it yourself. That is true. Noted.
I'm gonna remember to use that term whenever something's not done right. Agreed. I think it's time I show you my sig my my other favorite one. Huh. Wonder where my sword went. Oh wait, I could just pull it out like this. Whoa. <laughs> Careful with that thing. I know. So looking at the sword right here. Are you scared? Uh I fear nothing, but I am a little bit. Fear nothing? Ryder. You have not lived to see me do it. Trick so dangerous and twisted. Guess you're right. However, I've done this multiple times. You'll see why. Okay. I'm not gonna say anything. I just want you... <laughs> Hopefully... It's just like those things. They don't crack up no matter what you do. Alright. That is true. Let's see if this shell is about to crack. Here it goes. Alright. Uh. Um. How are you? Whoa. How is the blade not touching your... the whole blade. Carefully back out. Holy carp. That... That was awesome. That was cool. <laughs> well, I made you crack anyway. Yeah, like an egg. Um, never mind that part. Oh. Alright. All right, uh, what'd you think? Like I said, I am the best magician. You are talented, I'll say that. Thank you. You're welcome. So, I have a couple of friends. Well, I am part of this group called the Tropical Trio. Really? Yeah, but they're from somewhere else that you don't know. Oh, okay. Maybe on the Zoom bot you'll get to know them. Okay. You know, I don't know who else I should run into next. Well, I'm sure you'll have options soon. I hope so. Well, Ryder, I mean, there's not that much else to show you, but you could go on ahead and go back I uh, Finish what you were doing. Uh, okay, gladly. Right. Don't worry, I'll I'll head back over there and finish my training too. Okay. Don't worry, I'll let you know how the scavenger goes. All right. All right. You keep up the good work. All right. Thanks, Ryder. <laughs>